Oh, so you saw Terry Crews getting groped? Hey, so Thomas said his fly was down, and then I looked. Is that gay? No, black people don't know their history. It's, like, it's nothing new. She's cool to me. You know this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you saw Terry Crews getting groped? My it's, girlfriend told me about so it. So it's old news, though. Mm -hmm. So him getting groped is old news. Uh, I think it's the court dates were just recent, more mm. recently, right? Uh, I don't know how recent recent is, but I like... I know the groping. I heard about it. Mm -hmm. but, you know, maybe a year or so ago, maybe more than that. Yeah, like but yeah, so the news. So people, but people have been talking about it since then. So... I guess there's not much in the situation, but just kind of preface it a little bit. Terry Crews was talking to a well-known manager or agent um, at a party, I guess, or something. And then the agent came, grabbed his balls. Terry Crews pushed him away like, whoa, man. Well, that cop. You know, because Terry Crews kind of white, low-key. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was Julius, but he yeah. was more like Juliando. Like, you know, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he was really like, you know, he a little... Right. His wife is, you know he, what I'm saying? He, like he didn't use his Julius voice when he got groped. He used yeah. his real voice. Yeah. He's like, ah! he uses white chick's voice. <laughs> like I feel like that's his real character. Like white chick is how he really is. <laughs> my balls! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa, 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 pal! Okay, pause. <sighs> I like the way this conversation is going, Thomas. You're yeah, bad influence because yeah, we're making fun of because all victims. Then I was about to say. All the men, you know, a lot of prominent black men were coming on and say, you ain't going to, uh, uh, was it 50 Cent? I don't know. I wish it's we had a list of who. Yeah. But a list of people were just saying like, man, nah, Terry Crews, you that big. All I'm saying is you that, got that all that muscle. God gave you muscle to defend yourself. But I remember, all the, I don't remember anybody. Ooh. Pause. Let me get my words together. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> I don't remember who specifically said it, but I do recall Nick Cannon being one of the people that said it. Mm -hmm. He said, listen, man, all I'm saying is you ain't going to grope my balls without getting a punch in the face. Look at Nick Cannon. <laughs> Nick Cannon is a lie and a half. I don't, give, I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know about all Nick that. Nick Cannon ain't defending nothing. I don't know. He be, he be defending uh, his... He, he more so defended his words all the time. Remember yeah. the Donald Caucus comment? No. <sighs> what did he say? Remember, he's like... Uh, White people are more closer to animals, and he started talking about Jews. He was, yeah. the, he was the first one to hop on the uh, the Jew, the Jew, the Jew. And Nick Jew Cannon way. is so fake woke, dude. He is so <sighs> fake woke, but he take care of his kids. I guess I've been wanting to make jokes about how many kids he got, but he take care of them. Yeah. But he always talking about some. If you grab my balls, you're gonna get punched in the face. Well, you, well, you got eight baby mamas. They always grab onto your balls, and you gave them a gift. So you know what I'm saying? Like, why you to punch them in the face? Then you probably could save some money in child support. He tried. He tried. He tried. That was, that was kind of good. You saved at the end. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. There's all them women over there that let you have sex with them. Yeah. You your balls. Loser. Yeah. I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's why I never wanted to make fun of Terry Crews because yeah. I just felt like it was crazy to see all the black men coming in and justifying what happened. Yeah. They're saying, well, you should have punched, dude. And I'm just thinking... We can't play their game. Um, oh, what was this? We talked yesterday on a mm -hmm. reaction. We did a reaction. Like, I just feel like black people got to play the game better. Mm -hmm. We're living in white territory. We got to play the game better. And Terry Crews did right because the man tried to make him feel small, saying, ain't nobody going to believe you. Come back to my room, blah, 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 blah. I'll do it again. And you're trying to demean him, saying, you, you got the muscles, but ain't nobody. You punch me right now at this party. Mm -hmm. Punch me and see what happens. And he would if, he, if Terry Crews would have punched him, we would have seen what would happen, and, and Terry mm -hmm. Crews would have wanted to leave it in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Pure point blank. Yeah, man. So, Terry, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Terry played it right. He did. It's a hard bullet to bite, though. This is kind of like, ah, oh, dang. I gotta. It is. It, he he went on the road less traveled by coming in publicly saying, like, think about how much strength that takes us to publicly say, mm -hmm. and he got what we knew what was going to happen from weaker black men. I'm sorry, but that's weaker black men coming on podcast saying, well, I would have punched him. Yeah. Wow, okay, yeah, okay, anyway, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But he went and he publicly said, hey, you know, I was sexually assaulted by another man who is small and fat and white, and I did not physically do anything back to him. And that takes a lot of strength to say. Mm -hmm. And it also comes with a very fat check at the end. I know for a fact it does. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, he getting the reparations for all of us. There you That's go. what I think. Right, it comes in the... <laughs> The judge goes, all right, a well, mule and, and 40 acres of legs. Yo, like, bro, whoa, whoa, I'm whoa. still on how we really be talking about we want reparations. But at the end of the day, if a judge came to me and said, hey, Des, you know, we see what you've been doing for the community. We want to give you reparations. We want to give you 40 acres and a mule. Like, what? I want no 
dang mule? Bro, what? A mule? Not even a donkey? <laughs> <laughs> I don't got no what the fuck. Oh no, dang you, bro! What I'm gonna do with this? Right. This is just an inconvenience. I gotta clean up poop. Like, yeah, if you're real, it's like I want them 40 acres for a house or something. Yeah, I gotta bro. use it for this mule now, like, bro. And 40 acres? That's a heck of land. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of land. What are we gonna do with it? Let me ask you, yeah. They're gonna do a thing where it's just like 40 acre, 40 acres of land for every like 100 of y'all or something like that. I was gonna say like per like family of third cousins, up to third cousins. That makes sense. That's hey, I think we could. I think the country could afford to do that. I ain't gonna cap. No influence, bro. Yeah, I didn't do that. It, I would never use my influence for forty acres, bro. Like, wow, now we have grass. We can make wheat. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like, this is what I fought for, bro. This is what Rosa sat, and you know what I'm saying. This is what MOK marched for for me to be able to make wheat when yeah. we have TikTok. I'm trying to get forty acres. And I could FaceTime somebody in China right now. That's what we're breaking for right now. Like, Finally, bro, we get to get our own cows and eggs. Yeah, like, bro. This is an inconvenience. Like, this work. is an inconvenience. That's extra work, bro. I work a 40 hour job. <laughs> like, what I would do with all this land? Now I got to mow the lawn. That's what I'm thinking. 40 acres really is a lot, bro. Yeah, nah. And what's crazy is it would all be in Texas. <sighs> what is them Texans going to do with all them black people in there? <laughs> Them Texas people not gonna know how to act. They're gonna defend their land. All oh, the boy. black fuck, bro. Boy, they're gonna be like, no, I ain't seen this many black people in my lands since 1864. <laughs> Them my Texas. granddad was here now. <laughs> people all turning here. over this grave. <laughs> all this black people on our on our good old land. Y'all need to go back to California. <laughs> California. Yes, I'm, I'm, making it, proud. I'm making proud people. <laughs> Oh, for yo. people, I don't like people just coming out in their suits and ties. Like, yo, wait, I, I, accountants. Just... Like, black people are accountants now, lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that'd be a hilarious skit. Uh, for people, and then they like he sees them as like slaves, and they turn around and they're literally like in Bugatti so like <laughs> well off black people. Like, like, yeah, like, nowhere near. They even take. They like, no, we don't need. The, we're already rich. We don't need the land. Yeah, we don't need the land. Yeah, we are good. We already live here, bro. Like, That's hilarious. We're Republican too. I don't get right, it. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I gave my land away. Right. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, God. anyway. Me out. Hey, that was a that was good. That kind of. It was good because Terry Crews. Yeah, we just you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I guess it wasn't that good of a topic. It was like we we, we steered off twice. Like yeah, we forgot. It. There's more to this story, but I'm like, it's kind of old news, low key. Well, because the court thing mm-hmm. came out, and so that's why it's new talk now. But I was, my, my my girlfriend told me about how he get he did an interview and he was talking about like coming more you know upfront about how he cheated on his wife and the reason mm-hmm. why he came forward with this whole thing was to show that hey, I'm not just like this big. Black scary man that can't be touched, you know. That well, we didn't to... think of that. We didn't think of him as that anyway, you know. Yeah, no. He looked pretty soft to me. He just got muscles, so <laughs> that's all I was. So I, he talks I like this, that. and he does the chest pecs. Yeah, no. like we didn't think he was scary Terry. Yeah, we no. really didn't. <laughs> scary t- we didn't think he was scary Terry. Yeah, no. it was just like yeah. Somebody groped my balls. We were like, yeah. you didn't like it. Oh! <laughs> and you're complaining. Oh, I was like, oh, yeah, anyway. That was you, like boy. TikTok. I'm rubbing up on you too much, bro. I'm sorry. I'm just, what was that lie? Uh, I'm gonna rub date today. Okay, <laughs> okay, <sighs> okay. I said I wrote. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's talk about this one. Mm-hmm. Do do you care how people remember you when you die? I think that's a probably one of the most important things to me. Really? I think so. Because wow. <laughs> and why do you feel like that? <laughs> Okay, Dr. Phil, I think having a legacy Mm -hmm. and your name to back up something very epic and cool is, is, it should be the most important thing to really anybody, but mostly men. All right. That should just Mm -hmm. be the number, like your number, honestly, your number one priority. And then other things before, Mm -hmm. because if your name is good, your family is good. Mm -hmm. It's all about just the, uh, the reputation that you hold for yourself. Think about all the cool people that you know. Mm Mm-hmm. And yeah. and their kids and their kids and where they're at in life. That's kind of what you want for your family. Well, that's what I want for my family right. personally. Michelle Obama. She's cool to me. Good job, Dad. This whole time you were talking, I was trying to think of a person. It's like vanilla ice cream. I think vanilla ice cream is cool. All right, legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. You know, like Trump is gonna have a crazy legacy. Regardless mm-hmm. of what, he's gonna be the 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 talk the. 
I don't even know. What, what was he? He was everything. He's probably the most talked about figure to live in our generation. At this, at this point, bro. Probably. So. He's probably was like the number one example of a household name. Mm-hmm. So I think, yeah. He probably was the, and, and also he probably was the only president that was as famous as Beyonce. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we being real. Maybe Barack Obama because he was first black, but I don't even know if his name, Obama was pretty popular name and he killed Osama Bin Laden. Yeah. So between Obama and between Obama and Trump, I think they're probably the most the most known presidents. Mm-hmm. And that's crazy that you are known as much as the first black president. So that's still pretty crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, so being able to build something, I think it's more important to build something and then they remember you. So I think it's just a byproduct of building something. So if you if you become if people remember you when you die and you have a legacy and your kids are set and everything like that, it's because you built something. So as long as you have that, mm-hmm. what do you think? Oh yeah, I'm killing myself tonight. <laughs> nah, like I think it's important, but when you talk about, you made me think it's less important because no, let me let me write it quickly. You make me feel like I don't think it's as important as I thought I did because you're like number one thing. I would you if I would answer the first, I would have said yeah, it's pretty important. But after you answered, I'm like, well, whoa, <laughs> not that important. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but now that's crazy. That's that's cool to see your perspective. Um, I don't know. I think it's a weird question because it's like when I'm dead, I'm going to be dead. Mm-hmm. So it's not going to matter when I'm dead. Let me, let me ask you a follow-up question to yours. Who do you want the, to know the legacy? Who do you want to understand that legacy? And for how long? Like, mm-hmm. I feel like it just depends on, on what was built. So <clears throat> Burger Joint blows up. Mm-hmm. And Why with the sound effects, though? You just <laughs> always... Always. You know, when you start doing these clips, you need to start adding the sound effects that you do for yourself. So when you go, psh, add an explosion. Because <laughs> you just can't help but do the side effects, bro. Yeah, right. It, 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 it helps me get my trade along. Yeah, like, it helps me get my trade do, 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 along. Because I'm trying to get to the next point. And then I'm, <laughs> that's how you talk, bro. <laughs> like, you're chill on me. Like, you, talk, you talking sound effect buttons, bro. Like, you, you talking emojis. The <laughs> W, the W, bro. But when... <laughs> the burger joint blows up, <laughs> and like, and, and and I'm up there with you, like, yo, I, I'm I'm be honest. Without Thomas, like, this would be a, uh-huh. a whole different segment. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? And the people that are Why below you me, think I'm gonna say that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> he, 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 doesn't know that. <laughs> he doesn't know this, but I'm not gonna say this. <laughs> Like, you know, Thomas is like, he's a really big part of the burger joint. Like, this, yeah. this, like, this would be totally different if it wasn't about him. Mm-hmm. If he were below me and below me and below me would, like, have that uh, that path to follow. Mm-hmm. And they'll already know, like, it's Thomas, it's Thomas, it's Thomas. And mm-hmm. it might get bigger. Like, no, we need to be like Thomas. The way Thomas helped integrate or the way Thomas mm-hmm. helped the visionary or whatever the aspect was. That's cool. That's dope. And plus, I think it's cool that my kids would be able to, like, use my name. I don't know. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. You kind of answered the question. So who do you want to follow the legacy? Oh, frick. That was the question. Yeah. So. I think you did give a good answer, yeah. but like, I want to still be more specific. Yeah. So first, first my kids and then the people that are under me when it comes to business or. So like mentees. Yeah. Stuff like that. Okay. So I think we got two perceptions of what legacy is then. Mm-hmm. Because for me, legacy starts with like your grandkids. Mm. Because I'm going to be like, if you're raising your kids, if you if you're, you know, God willing in your kids life until they're 45, 50 years old, mm-hmm. that was no legacy. That was you teaching them. Your your mentees, that was you training them. Mm-hmm. Like for me, it's not Dave. It's not his legacy. It's him. For it would be legacy is like what I can instill in my child when Dave is gone. Yeah. To me, that's legacy. Yeah. You know, so like when you say kids, like yeah. I think we might have two perceptions, two different perceptions of what legacy is. Cause for me, I'm just thinking like, I, legacy is important to me because I want like, I'm be real. I want to, I want it to be my picture on top of the fireplace when they say, that's your great granddaddy. He's who, who put our family on a different path. Mm-hmm. Like I want, I want my great grandkids to be, vacationing in, in Kauai or in in Maui and saying we we here because of the what the biggest f- example of legacy that i have is Walmart yeah Wally yeah. Wally Walter whatever his name is yeah. <laughs> Wally Walters let's just call him that he built Wally it Walters. and and 
the Walmart family. I think they are Walters, their last name, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know, though. The Walmart family, <sighs> let's do this. Wally Walter, the fake CEO of Walmart that I just made up in my brain, was the richest man in the world for like until he died. And then when he died and he split up his inheritance between his kids, I want to say they were still on like the top 30 richest people in the world between them. So just picture how much money that is. That when I die and I split my money between five of y'all, six of y'all, whatever it is, y'all still on the on the Forbes. Mm -hmm. That is insane. That's legacy. And so if we put that on a smaller scale and it don't got to be money, it can be influence, it can be uh, 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 just wisdom. Yeah. Like in anything that whatever your goal is in life, whatever your calling is, to be able to d- to die and divide that and they are still the top, you know, influencers in it, mm-hmm. that's to me, that's legacy. And that's what, that's what I kind of mean when I'm saying my kids because – I didn't mean, like. I don't know. I just felt it was applied that it would just go down, like whatever the yeah. But like, it's album. also like how much of it though. Yeah, and like mm-hmm. how long? How long is legacy supposed to last? Mm-hmm. I know for me, bro. Like, I don't know if I care for it to be more than like my great grandkids. But you know, I could just be thinking small. I could just also be young. Like, I. Don't, but I don't know. Like, it's probably because I'm young. Because I can't even picture what a great grandkid looks like. I can barely picture what a grandkid looks like. Like I have in my mind, kind of maybe, but great grandkid is just so. Too, I think that's too far stretched mm-hmm. to really understand what that is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I think by then, but I don't know, man. We still talk about Abraham Lincoln, and I don't know. Was it because he freed the slaves? I don't think it was. Like I think, just I think mm-hmm. everything about Abraham Lincoln is why we talk about him. Um, John Adams, because he ain't do nothing really. He was second president. He number two. He not on no money. Like, you know what I'm saying? But we still know his name. Wait, so, is he not? John Adams? Adams? He ain't a Benjamin. He ain't Washington. He ain't Lincoln. He not Benjamin. Or, He's on or 20. Dang. I don't know. I just keep Benny's. You know what I'm saying? I was like, <laughs> like, I don't really know. Oh, is he on 100? No, that's, that's Benjamin Franklin. Right. So who's on the 50? Uh, Ulysses S. Grant. Okay, so who's on 20? Maybe it's Quincy Jones. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Quincy Jones? <laughs> yeah, I don't know anymore. It's like, well, yeah, you did direct the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> John Adams, who's on the 20? Who's on the $20 bill? That I find it first. Oh, no, I find it first. No. It's Andrew Jackson. Andrew I knew that. Jackson. Oh, then it's gonna put Harriet Tubman on there. Oh my God! Remember what? that? <laughs> they Photoshop Harriet Tubman on every bill ever, bro. She is not getting her old bill. She's not. Bro. If anybody got their old bill, it would not be Harriet Tubman. It's not. If it was gonna be a black female, it'd probably be Rosa Parks. It would not be, bro. For so many reasons, it would not be Harriet Tubman. Yeah. I think people they they overestimate how many people she like brought to. Uh, yeah. Together. People like when we were thought we were there. It was oh my gosh, she did like four hundred, five hundred. It was like forty seven. No, it was a lot, bro. You tripping? No, 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 no. How many people was it? Nah, re, re, How many people was it? We cut that part out because it was a lot. You tripping? Come on. I don't know. You must have like. How many people did Harriet Tubman save? Okay, I'm gonna have to explain this after you get your answer. Seventy people. Okay. So now let's think about this. You know that she trained those people to get more, right? It looks stupid. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just. Kidding. It was a joke. Like, it was a joke. It was a joke. So bro. if if she just got ten people to go with her. And they each brought back 10. Uh, okay. That's indirectly already 100 people off one run. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that okay. is one run. All right. Dang. Yeah. And it was the revolution that she started. That's okay. why she was. That's why. Okay. okay. Legacy. Okay. See, I that's, it back. that's real legacy, though. I apologize to the. You apologize family. like you said it get canceled. Like you trying to get it from. Like nobody cared, bro. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay bro. We know black people don't know their history. It's, like, it's nothing new, bro. Like, <laughs> like why you correct me then? We could have been like, well, because you was like saying it, like we all. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you think that I we don't know. all know anything? <laughs> okay, I'm just buttering. I'm just buttering. I don't know my history. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Am I fly down? But they, you gay? Why you look? Like you? Whoa, look. whoa! Why you look? Is that gay? <laughs> is that? Gay? <laughs> what were you? What were you looking for? Is that gay though? What tell me, tell me what straight face that's gay. But what? Yeah, that was gay. Oh. <laughs> What are you trying to see? No, you, to see? you know what I'm saying? Like, what color your underwear are? He looked at me. Oh, Dave, I fly down. He was like, <laughs> bro, we supposed to be doing a podcast. Are you over here being all, you know what I'm saying? You call me gay on the podcast. And hey, let's interrupt this podcast to ask TikTok. <laughs> hey, so Thomas said his fly was down. And then I looked. Is that gay? 
Is that, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of fruity, bro. That's kind of oh, fruity. I think it is. Because why were you so eager to look? What were you trying to see? <laughs> <laughs> you mean, bro. Ain't no way, bro. You mean for real. <sighs> Dang. Okay, so let's talk about yeah. school stories. Oh Off camera, I just asked Thomas if he had an embarrassing school story, and it immediately made me think of the episode where we was bullying you. <laughs> Because oh he was getting bullied. Oh my God. He said, Oh my God. And this is my fault. He said, Back when I used to get bullied. And I said, Chuck <laughs> He said, Yeah, back when I was getting bullied. And I don't know why it was funny to me. I don't know why. It's but, like, what was it? It was like, uh, uh, like me, with me, uh, back when I was getting bullied, he said, <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Bro! I was like, what was that? <laughs> I didn't even think I finished my story after that. He didn't even finish it, bro. I didn't finish my story, bro. I, I mean, like, bro, yeah, you was like... Talk. Okay, so this... What was one of the funniest things you ever got bullied for? Oh, my goodness. Like, one of the craziest... You know, just embarrassing moments from school. <sighs> yeah. So I had... Um, I had a bike. Mm -hmm. I had a bike. It was a really raggedy bike. I think my dad got it from, like... It was like a hand-me-down or he, like, found it. I don't mm -hmm. know what it was. But I would have issues with the handlebars just popping up. And I would be able to, like, to know when it would do it. Uh, and I'll be able to like, you know, catch it or something or like mm -hmm. sit a certain way so it doesn't do that. I remember one day I pulled up to the school and I was on the high schooler side. And I was waiting for my friend Nate to come out you know, mm -hmm. with, all the, with all the kids. Right? Mm -hmm. and I was just chilling on the bike waiting for him to come out. So he walked to school. He came out. I was like, hey, what's up? What's up? I, I went to wave. <laughs> 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 ah, no! And my handlebar <laughs> came off. It came up with your head. And when it came off, I fell. Like the whole bike just <laughs> fell because I lost my balance. I was leaning on it. I was like, hey, yo. They said, Brr. I Oh fell. my God. And the school bell had rang like two minutes before. So everybody was at the front of the school by then. I was on the high school side, face planted, boom, on the ground. Everybody started laughing. When I tell you, nobody tried to help me up. There was a campus monitor, like, 15 feet away from me. He saw the whole thing. He didn't even try to help me. And it was loud. So there was no hiding. I was in the middle of the whole everybody. Bring. Everybody went quiet. What was that? They see me on the floor. So that was embarrassing. I don't Dang. think I ever went to high school side again. And I don't think I ever rode that bike again. Dang. I never really laughed at kids falling. I never been into that. I thought that was just because my thing is everybody falls. Like everybody, everybody falls. You will have your moment, especially <sighs> as you're younger. You're still learning how to like keep your balance and stuff. Nobody wants to admit it, but even at 12, 13, 14 years old, you're still learning how to keep your balance. Mm -hmm. How did you laugh at somebody? They probably fell too, fell all the time. Yeah, but it's crazy. I actually fell and cut my. I forgot about this. This is not my story, and it's not really funny. But I fell and cut my hand open really, mm -hmm. really hard. Mm -hmm. That was okay because I think the like it was my homies was laughing at me like, mm -hmm. and they also was like, "Are you good?" Hey, mm -hmm, that's and good. then I'm good. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different type of laugh. That was like I was getting bullied, and I, my feelings was hurt. But you get over it. Like mm -hmm. you look, you being sensitive. If you if you get hurt by your friends laughing at slash yeah. with you, you know what I'm saying. But I I fell walking to Jack in the Box and I cut the mess out of my hand. Actually, the scar's not there no more. But I think it's still kind of mm. maybe maybe I'm just you, now I'm just singing stuff. You know, <laughs> like, dang, I got lies in my head. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, what is this? Like, when that crease get here? But uh, <laughs> you know, I felt I cut them like it was actually deep. Like you could you could uh, see like yeah, I, I I don't know what you could see, but you could see it was deep. Like it was a, a chunk. I would say it's like at least a couple centimeters deep. Thick. Heck no, yeah, no. I just fell. I scraped it, and even the me. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, while I fell, this guy honked. He said, Boom, get on the street. <laughs> he said, Pop up, Boo, what are you doing? And he was driving by, so you know, like, went away. Uh, uh, Boo, what are you doing? <laughs> and, and then my friends was looking at him, like, Yo, he fell. Are you okay, Dad? I was like, Yeah. They was like, Good. <laughs> Boy, he he fell. What are you and doing? And fell. Boy, what you like the ground or something? It's more fun down there. They was all bullying me. Then somebody drove by, they was laughing at me. They was like, <laughs> I'm like, all right. All right. They get yeah. to laugh. Now you be angry. But you, you ran up, you drive a Prius. What are you laughing for, Jessica? Keep driving. Keep driving. Oh God, all right. Bro. Nothing to see here, pal. Nothing to see here, pal. That was not my story. But <sighs> your story reminded me of, please, about that car you had. Please tell us, sorry, please, bro. Wait, what? I laugh about this to this day. I'll be just sitting there driving sometimes. I start laughing. Will you turn left? Oh my God. I promise, bro. I'll be sitting there just driving. Bro, come on. Tell you it. gonna do this to me? 
please don't. Please, 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 please. This is crazy because this is also because of my dad with this car. So my dad used to have this. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna laugh while you tell that. I promise he I won't. used to have this baby blue Cadillac, and everything else on it was fine. But there was one thing wrong with it that he just like never got fixed. Like we 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 got a different car. He just never got it fixed. Whenever you t- whenever you turn the wheel left, the car would honk. <laughs> Every single time we were like behind somebody, we had to turn left. <laughs> <laughs> he would jerk it, so it would stop honking. Big, big, big. So he wouldn't. The person in front of him wouldn't think of me honking at them. But at, at some point, he just better just was like, "Fuck it." Big. Okay, so out here in Vegas. Well, oh, you getting goodness. off the spaghetti bowl, or I think you're getting on. Transfer from the 95 to the 15 on the freeway. That is the deepest. It's a deep left in the turn. History of the world. When he tells that story, that is what I think of. It is the longest left turn. It's the deepest turn. And in the only world. Vegas drivers know it. But in my mind, I'm just thinking, when you go, you come down, is that like, ah, oh, here we go again. Oh my God. B- and the crazy thing is, bro, we just be sitting there like we don't know. Ooh, a building. Oh my God. Turn the radio on fire. Oh, I love this song. Bro, all of the like near fights your dad probably experienced. Probably got this. So like, many, bro. all of the. What are you honking at, dude? I'm driving the speed limit. Yeah, how do you explain it? Nah, my, when I turn left, yeah. like, nah, nah, you would just have to get mad back. Right, you, exactly. You, you got to just get me. mad back. You can't punk me. You ain't going to punk me in front of my son now. Yeah, so what? You need to drive better, dude. I'm going to hug when I want to hug. Your dad had nothing to do with that hugging, though, at all. He thought the guy was driving well. Like, <laughs> yeah, I thought he was good. Like, <laughs> his <laughs> finger on there, he's his hand side. Oh, my God, dude. Oh my okay, so my God, story bro. was. Uh, I know, we just, I just told two stories, none of them were actually mine. <laughs> but um, the my story was when I lost my phone. All right, so mm-hmm. this is probably like 2018, I think. The iPhone 11 had, no, it was the iPhone 10, iPhone 8. It was either mm-hmm. the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 10. Uh, and I was in school. Uh, this is when I had I was doing I did college early. So we had one of the big campuses at UNLV, um, and we were in the conference rooms. So I think I had left it in the previous conference room. I, I didn't know exactly where I left it, though, because, mind you, we had just did lunch. So I also could have left it downstairs at one of the, mm. like, the Taco Bell or the Subway. Like, I could have left it anywhere, right? I'm like, can I go to the, got to find my phone? And like, okay, cool. So they let me out. Um, and I'm just running around trying to find my phone, right? And I go in, and then I open the doors. And mind you, this is a giant conference room, okay? Giant conference room, probably the size of, a, like, a, an entire house. And then so it's 500 kids just per room. So I open the door. And it's loud, it echoes, and she stops talking. She's like, can I help you? And I'm like, not trying to say what I need. So I go down to the front. It's a long walk, bro. She's like, can I help you? I'm like, yeah. It's awkward. I'm looking at it, right? It's, it's so awkward because it's a long walk, and I don't want to scale it. And I go, I'm like, do you have a, like, did you find a phone? And then the kid in the second row, he's like, right here, I found it. And then he hands it to me. I'm like, thank you so much. Oh, my God, I'm scared. I'm so scared. And mine just is 2018, so it was the iPhone 8 had just came out. Mm-hmm. I had like the iPhone 5, and it was cracked. And so as I'm walking, I go to put it back in my pocket. He said, boy, I know you ain't come in here for that phone. You lost your phone? And the kids started giggling. <laughs> you lost his phone. He said, because ain't nobody was finna steal that thing. I said, okay. All right. No! All right. <laughs> he said, and as I'm walking, he's still clouded. Bro. Okay, so here's the thing. His name was... Wow, I'm having memory right now. His name was Durag. I gave him that nickname, by the way, because I didn't want to learn his name. I learned at graduation that everybody in the school called him Durag. What? So I, I've been you an influencer, bro. That? I've That's been an influencer. I've been talk. an influencer. I didn't know his name, bro. Oh, Durag. I called him Durag at a whole school. I thought that at graduation, like wow. the whole two years. He's like, That's Durag. It was teachers calling him Durag. <laughs> he had, but he had locks. Yeah, he had, he he had like baby locks. Thing? Yeah, baby locks. He's like, it's gonna make them silky when they get long. It's gonna make oh them silky. But all right, Durag. And I think he took that as his opportunity to, to get you back. You know, to get me back. And I they knew me as a kid. I was funny. So I knew mm-hmm. I could have flamed him, but I was just gonna take it because he was right. It wasn't nobody finished that thing. You know what I'm saying? It was the most crack phone. That's but uh crazy and as I walk it out, he's still making just because they as they laugh, he egging it on. I'm like, all right, now you got your moment. Don't don't push it. He uh oh, man, man, I always said if it was an iPhone, hey, you might as well just is that the thing where it was got you a do it, boy. Yes, I know you ain't got no insurance on the insurance ain't for the cover. He, all these jokes, dude. Nah, bro, I would have killed myself that night. <laughs> that was probably one of the most embarrassing moments, only because he was right. <clears throat> it was like when people be uh people got them old 1999 Camrys. 
god. And and they be like, um, lock them doors. Lock them doors. You know, they be still in this neighborhood. Not that though. Not not that. <laughs> not for you. <laughs> like not for if you. they go steal anything. If I promise you, we won't be that with you. You won't be that with. They still my bike for the. Hey, that's why, like, in this neighborhood, in our neighborhood, I'm like, nah, it's a lot of nice cars. I don't got worry about mine. Mm-hmm. I'm like, they, they come still one of them. It ain't gonna be mine. Like, I'm like, all these Rams and mm-hmm. the Volkswagens you know, and the, the, the yeah, bro. I'm like, they ain't gonna take that 2008. <laughs> <laughs> they good off that. They silly. They gonna be hot. Dang. Literally. You got another embarrassing story? Oh, I, I got one more. I told it on my TikTok though. You say I think I think. So. In middle school, this was a girl, prettiest girl in school, right? Prettiest girl in school, easily most popular as well. Um, she, crazy story. She like left school, I guess, because she was about to kill herself, and her parents stopped her, so she tried to kill her parents. Had to go to a psych ward, found out it was get big mess on her sentence, I guess. And she came back to school, and everybody was excited to see her. Oh my God! Insert name. I miss you so much. Insert nickname. <laughs> and she skipped to everybody. She's like, where's Des? Where's Des? Des! And she yelled it and ran up to me. Oh, my God, I miss you. And she jumped on me and she squeezed me so hard. And, and, and she was like hugging me and yelling. And it was just so much going on that I just. And it, just, it was, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, it was just so much adrenaline. And oh, my God. All my special K's was moving at that time. I just had that cheese. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had my morning coffee, you know, like I was tolerant. And it just was so much pressure, literally and figuratively, that, <laughs> that I just had a release. And, oh, my God. And did she say something? Uh, she just slowly, like, got off and backed that way. I don't got no story. Yeah, we can go ahead and wrap it anyway. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week on the Burger Hour Podcast. <sighs>